Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a global mobile phone hack that can allow you to track or monitor any mobile phone in the world. This actually comes from an exclusive story from Australia 60 Minutes. During it, the reporter hooked up with some German researchers and he showed a hack that would allow attackers to actually monitor any mobile phone in the world if you knew its number. You could actually intercept and listen in on calls, you can intercept SMS messages, and you could even track that user real time as he was going from cell tower to cell tower. In any case, it was kind of an interesting report, but there's now stories that it might be overblown. Recently Gizmodo released an article showing that in order to do this the German government had to give the uh, attacker in this case the researcher access to the SS7 network. All these attacks were based on a standard carriers use called SS7 or signaling system 7 which is something that's been around for decades. It's a standard to to handle phone calls which has been updated with mobile phones and now that we have mobile phones that go international where they're roaming on other carrier networks, these carriers had to set up a standard where they could share information and make sure that phones could always route information no matter where they were in the world. In any case, it is true that SS7 is a vulnerable protocol. It actually doesn't use any authentication. A researcher called Tobias Engel had a great CCC, which stands for Chaos Communication Congress. It's a big German security conference. Anyways, Tobias had a really good presentation back in December of last year showing some of the flaws in SS7 and how once you accessed SS7 you can all do all kinds of things like rerouting phone calls, listening in, and doing all kinds of dangerous things. However, how hard is it for an average criminal or, or attacker to get access to SS7? That is the big question. According to Tobias Engel, there are three ways that don't require you to have carrier or, or government access. The three he points out are first of all, uh, uh, some carriers actually resell access to this network for just a, a couple euros a month. Basically, say you're trying to set up SMS servers for some uh, service you do, you can actually sign up with your carrier to get access to this to do your SMS service. So you can go directly to them. He also pointed out there's been vulnerabilities in carriers' networks that have allowed attackers to get access to them before. And finally, he also points out fem to cell uh, hacking. A fem to cell is a device that can can extend a cellular network to your home, and apparently some researchers have hacked fem to cells and gained access to the SS7 network. So it is plausible that an attacker can get access to SS7. In either case, it was a very interesting story on Australian 60 Minutes. It might be a little overstated, but it is true that carriers and governments may be able to track you wherever you are with your mobile phone, so something to think about. By the way, there's no practical takeaways here. If you're a consumer, there's nothing you can do about it. This is really something that carriers need to solve by, by filtering things or adding more authentication to their standards. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.